Hey there all craft beer lovers, time for that beer review once again. So, returning to Stockholm, to Northern Exposure Brewing Company. And they have teamed up once again with Graffiti Stockholm in the series, Clive series. This is Clive number 8, IPA. 6.5%, 440ml can. And there you go, there's the lovely looking artwork from Graffiti Stockholm, providing the artwork for the cans. A Northern Expo Exposure Brewing Company brewing the beers. There we go. I have reviewed a lot, quite a lot of the uh, these beers. They have two series, uh, Clive and Chaos. So Clive number eight. Ingredients, water, barley malts, wheat malts, oats, hops, yeast, unfiltered, unpasteurized, uh, and that's it. There you go. Right. Let's give it a bash, see what we get. I do like these beers, they tend to be very, very nice. There we go. Yeah, and touch of smoke. Let's see. So they tend to do a lot of kind of a very, very juicy, kind of New England style IPAs in this series. There we go. And this one seemed to be exactly that, in that tradition. There we go. Yeah, let's pour the Oh yeah, a lot of sediments. And that we like. All right. In view then. There we go. So get a good look on that lovely artwork. What do we have? We have a basically one to one and a half fingers almost worth of a nice bright white shining head. A couple of small bubbles on top bursting there. Definitely a lovely hazy juicy looking honey golden colored uh, beverage yeah looking good looking really really good seems to be a good deal of carbonation going on there oh yeah you can see it there maybe i don't know if you can see it there guys but yeah a lot of carbonation let's get the aroma yeah lovely tropical on the nose yeah it smells very much in this in the tradition that uh, they are doing Kind of uh, how they make their beers. Pineapple, mango, bit of orange. Yeah, touch of sweetness, tropical sweetness, a little bit of tropical candy lurking about. And a little bit of a spicy hop sensation on the back and on the nose. Okay, smells very nice. With that said, let's dive in, see what we get then. Cheers, everybody. Okay, so uh, very easy drinking, I have to say. Very, very easy drinking. That's kind of my first impression with this one. Very easy to throw down the hatch. Uh, slight tropical sweetness uh, initially. Then a slightly chalky, hoppy aftertaste immediately following that initial sweetness. Uh, good carbonation, quite juicy, and a little bit of a dry back end to it. Yeah. For me, this is kind of, a, a, if I'm going to compare this one to the other ones in the series, I would say this is, a, well, uh, there we go, Clive number eight. I would say that this is a little bit more on the inoffensive side. Uh, more easy going, more easy drinking, but it's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Quite a nice beer. Easy going, got a nice body, good carbonation, but perhaps not that explosion of tropical flavors that I do really like. But it's a, nonetheless, it's a nice beer. So I won't bash it. It's easy going, easy drinking, good IPA. Uh, for me, I'm going to give it a uh, solid 3.5 out of 5. Very nice. Uh, Clive number 8, thank you for watching.